This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and so if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards for your own matches, your own tournaments, your own duels, your own purposes, your own needs, then definitely check out their site and see what they have to offer you. I'm a big fan of how they do business, and their pricing and shipping from what I've seen and experienced thus far are both top notch. So definitely check out their site, which is linked in the description, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! deck profile video, and this time it's going to be on a deck for the new June 12th ban list format that we're going to be going into in the next couple of weeks. Now, I do have a current format version of this deck that I was going to play at some regionals upcoming if I decided to attend them, and if you guys are interested in seeing that deck profile, I'm more than willing to share it. Just let me know in the comments down below. But what I'm going to be showing you today is a skeleton version of a deck that is very possible to be played in the upcoming format once it hits us for nationals, for regionals, for all that sort of nonsense. And now, this deck just obviously gets better than what it is currently in the format in terms of what we have access to. There's a little bit of things that we lose as far as like Terra Tops and stuff, but then there's a lot of things that we gain like extra copies of Skull Corbat Joker and Wisdom Eye Magician and stuff like that. Now, this is a Performer Pal Magician Zodiac deck. <laughs> that I've been messing around with. Um, utilizing the new card Duelist Alliance uh, to make some really cool combos happen and all that sort of nonsense. And then just the added consistency of extra Skull Corbat Jokers and all that sort of stuff just really just adds into the deck's capabilities and stuff going into the next format. So, like I said, let me know what you guys think about, uh, about wanting to see the current format version of this deck. If you have any events that you want to play something like this at for the next couple of weeks, I'd be more than happy to share it. But as for now, this is a list for the upcoming format that we might be able to utilize going into the next format. Like I said, this is a skeleton list. It could mold around and shape around in different ways going into the next format. Uh, but this is a beta build that I've been testing around online for the past couple of days, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. But anyway, what we have here as far as monsters go is we start out with three Perform Pal Pendulum Sorcerer and three copies of Perform Pal Skull Corbat Joker. Having this card at three again is fantastic. Uh, being able to search for Wisdom Eyes or uh, your Pendulum Sorcerer based off what you want to do. Uh, you usually end up going for Wisdom Eye with this card because we do have cards like Duelist Alliance that allow you to get to the Pendulum Sorcerer or the Luster Pendulum. Um, so like it's very easy to access a ton of cards in this deck rather easily now comparatively to how it used to be. Uh, but So we have Performer Pal Get Turtle and two copies of Lizard Draw, and these are the last Performer Pals in the list. You're going to be using Skull Corbat Joker to mainly search for, uh, for like Magician Scales and stuff like that, because Wisdom Eye Magician plays very well with, with uh, Performer Pals. If there's a Performer Pal or Magician in your scale, you can pop Wisdom Eye for the quick plus one. Uh, so that's actually just a really key thing, is that you can do like a Get Turtle Lizard Draw play, and then you can just like have Get Turtle in scale and pop Wisdom Eye. Uh, to get a low scale and like that's actually just a huge thing that you have capable uh, to you as far as plays but moving on we have three wisdom eye magician this card is the nut i love this card this card is a free plus one uh every time you resolve it because it allows you to go into your scale like i said you can have a magician or perform pal car in your card in your scale to pop this card out it plays very well with the other half of the deck and then like the fact that pendulum uh pendulum sorcerer can clear your scales out as well uh, means that that card just naturally synergizes really well with Wisdom Eye. Um, and so Skull Corbat Joker just kind of mits, like fills the missing link between the two engines. Uh, but then for the Vanillas, I'm only playing three. Uh, two Dragon Pulse and one Dragon Pit. Low scales, we have a lot less of those. Uh, Dragon Pit's kind of a bricky card. At least Dragon Pulse is a level four uh, earth that you can uh, utilize. Uh, so, like, I mean, that's the main purpose of Wisdom Eye in the deck, is just to be an extra level four. Uh, but, like, you can get these in your scales together, even though this deck doesn't play Pendulum Call, because Pendulum Call kind of goes against the entire purpose of this specific deck, because you're popping with Pendulum Sorcerer and stuff like that. Uh, it's kind of like the cheesiest card. Like, it's a it's a guaranteed, like, scale, but it prevents you from doing, like, the cool things with your play lines, so it's just not in this deck. So, it's a very small uh, Magician lineup, just being the three Wisdom Eye and the three uh, Vanilla Scales. But anyway, uh, we have one copy of Luster Pendulum, the uh, Draco Slayer. Two copies of Ariadne because there's so many ways to trigger this card now. I mean, you've got Duelist Alliance, which can search for this card. Uh, you've got Pendulum Rising, which can summon Pendulum Sorcerer out of deck. You've got uh, the Duelist Alliance and the Skull Corbat Jokers, which can search for Pendulum Sorcerer. There's so many ways to trigger this card now, twice in a turn. You just have to draw one of it. I just couldn't make room for the three in this, for the third one in this build. I actually really feel like I would probably cut something for the third Ariadne, depending on uh, depending on how things go. It might end up being one of like the Arch Phoenix Centrics or something. Uh, because, but like this card just being a generic high scale is really good. Um, I felt like this card was necessary because of the fact that like you can't reliably put Dragon Pit plus another Magician in your scale uh, before you Pendulum Summon. But I mean, you can sort of. So I mean, I guess that might not be a thing. I might end up cutting these 
for something like a second Dragon Pit and like the third uh, Guiding Ariadne uh, in the future. Uh, but as of right now, this is just good back row and monster removal. Uh, so like, it's just, it's like, all right, because I mean, Solemn Strike is like the most popular like trap in people's trap lineups right now. Dimensional Barrier kind of fell off uh, with the true Dracos release and stuff like that. So strikes and warnings are usually what you're dealing with as far as back row, and this just hits those, but it's so does Dragon Pit Magician. But then again, Dragon Pit is once per turn, and this is once per turn, so you could do like, hit a card, and then Dragon Pit another one away if your hand is good enough, so I don't know. This card is just always a card that I usually put in pendulum lists when I'm just not too sure on what I want to have as like my 40th and 39th card. Uh, but they could just be easily replaced by like the third Ariadne and the second Dragon Pit. Like I said, this is a beta build. It's probably going to change a little bit between now and June 12th. But anyway, uh, the only zoo cards in the deck besides Barrage are two copies of Zodiac Rap here. Uh, these are facilitators of some pretty cool starting combo plays because even though they're like not very good on their own as far as like an engine because you can't really recycle a lot, you don't have access to other zoo cards like Ram Ram and stuff in this list, it's definitely a good play starter because it allows you a one card play um, and it meshes very well with a uh, Pendulum Rising with uh, with uh, plays there because of your Shaka 9 plays and stuff like that that allows you to go into like Dryden plus rank 4 and do like that before you Pendulum Summon. That's actually really key. Um, so, like, it's a very good get-out-of-the-gate card in terms of Pendulum's never really had a really good starting play like that where, um, like, ever since Plush Fire went away, we haven't really had a good starting play that lets us make rank 4s and stuff before we Pendulum Summon, but now Rap here allows that to be the case, so Rap here's just really good. Uh, and then we've just got one Dragoons of Draconia that's searchable off of your uh, Broad Bull. Uh, just to be a low scale because I mean you can search it and also it's what you need to have you could play perform how King Bear honestly And that's probably better for the slot um, But I'm playing Dragoons of Draconia specifically because it's a level 4 uh, Because it works better for a specific play that if I have time I'll show you at the end of the video which is uh, Which is Barrage or Rap here or Tanky plus uh, Duelist Alliance or Pendulum Rising and it allows you to get a huge Pendulum Summon but anyway so Dragoons of Draconia is just better fitted for that purpose but the last monsters in the main deck are Maxi and Triple, Ash Blossom, and Joy Spring. Uh, these cards are just pretty self-exclamatory. I mean, really, these cards just go pretty well in anything because of the fact that like they're just very versatile hand traps. But uh, that is all the monsters. For the spells, we've got three copies of Duelist Alliance and then one copy of Pendulum Rising. Pendulum Rising is searchable off Duelist Alliance. So the cards you have in your deck that are searchable off Duelist Alliance is the Pendulum Sorcerer, the Luster Pendulum, and Pendulum Rising. And now Duelist Alliance works very well with your Rat Pier plays because what it allows you to do is it allows you to go Rat Pier, search your Dragoons of Draconia, put your Dragoons of Draconia in the scale, you summon a Rat Pier back off of your Chaka 9 that can't be used as an overlay material for an XC summon, but if you have Duelist Alliance or the Pendulum Rising, you Duelist Alliance to search Pendulum Rising, and you Pendulum Rising away that Chaka 9 summoned Rat away, and you summon your Pendulum Sorcerer out of deck and then pop two cards uh, before you've Pendulum Summoned and search like a Turtle Lizard Draw and stuff like that. You can search like Skull Crabat Joker to get a normal summon if you haven't utilized that. I'll show you that in a little bit more in depth and in more detail at the uh, end of this video, but those cards are really good. Uh, triple Zoo Barrage and two Fire Formation Tankies just to access the rat. Like I said, the rat is like really important. Um, this can search for the uh, for the scale if you already have rat, but it's kind of kind of redundant considering the rat is going to search the scale anyway. Um, but these are like redundant cards that you could just have to like um, you could pop scales with barrage to summon rat to fuel your extra decks. That's pretty neat. Um, and off of tankies, you can pop these with pendulum sorcerers. Um, this deck this deck functions very well in terms of how it works with its zoo engine. You can continuously put back the rats and the exceeds that you summon. Um, so like double digesto emerald is in this extra deck as well. So I mean like. These, in theory, should never be dead, even though the fact that there is only two rats in the deck, if your deck is functioning the way it should be, uh, these cards should always be live. Um, and, like, you only really won't, like, need one to get your play started because it gives you so many extra cards um, off doing that, which is good for your pendulum mechanic. But otherwise, like, they're live throughout the entirety of the game if you're allowed to play. Uh, but so then, the traps, we've got the four Solemns to use with the Ariadne, and these are the only traps because Dimensional Barrier is not that hot right now in terms of a card, but they would definitely be in like the side deck or something. But extra deck, we have Ignister and Dinoster and Magister for the uh, Draco Slayer suite, just because we have access to Luster, uh, we can play these. Um, there's a lot of rank 4 potential with the Pendulum uh, monsters because of the fact that Wisdom Eye exists in like the Pendulum Rising play that you're able to do. Um, allows you to like access this and you can just search for things, like it's actually just super cool. 
um, how easily you can access these. And then, so then, because we're playing these cards, uh, specifically Dino Star and Ignister, uh, Titanic Galaxy is typically like just an auto inclusion there because you're able to make rank eights, and it's such a strong opener that you can use, uh, specifically with as many board wipes running around in the format as there are. Uh, but a Utopia and a Utopia the Lightning, again, my Utopia the Lightning is being borrowed by someone, and I haven't gotten it back yet. So, oops, have to, have to just turn a card around and proxy it, but uh, these are just a good out to Masterpiece. Uh, that you could use you just this deck is very good at like keeping cards on board so like you could just try and make them bait you can just try and bait the masterpiece with something and then uh utopia the lightning it uh but then uh king of the fair limps because it's part of the combo searches lizard draws and stuff which is good for uh value uh two digesto emerald because again this deck is very good at managing its zoo resource if you're doing the rat into pendulum rising play uh, and then, like, there's a lot, a surplus of level 4s in this deck that are Pendulum Monsters, so you can just make Digesto Emeralds until the end of time and keep putting back your rats and make, keep, like, having the other half of the Emerald be one Pendulum Monster is actually very good and efficient for uh, your Pendulum resource. Instead of just hard putting two uh, level 4 Pendulums into this, you can just do rat, like, half or half of it every single time and just gain resource. Uh, but then one Abyss Dweller. And then there's only a small zoo package in terms of the extra deck. One Dryden, one Broad Bull, one Shaka Nine, one Tiger Mortar, and one Borbo, just to be a vanilla. This could be Hammer Kong, honestly, and it probably should be. Just because the uh, attack directly thing is never going to come up because there's no zoos in my deck with attack points. Uh, but you could side like Whip Tails and stuff in this deck, so this could be relevant. But uh, Chaka Nine, Broad Bull, and Dryden are obviously super important, and then you just need to need, like have vanilla names to make the Dryden have some materials under it and be able to swap around names while you're doing your emerald stuff on your opponent's turn so but anyway we're already running pretty low on time and the combos that i want to show you have a little bit of variation to them and they take up a little bit of time to show you as well so i think i will just show you those in a separate video that will go live either today or tomorrow alongside this deck list uh, just to show you guys the basics of like what you should be doing for like starter card like card combinations and stuff like that because it is a very strong like combo string that you have access to so i'll show you guys those in a different video because i'll show you a couple of them because there are some variations that affect how the combos go and i don't want this video to get way too long so anyway as always guys thanks for watching let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below uh, like, comment, subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do. Links are in the description to my Facebook and my Patreon pages if you want to support the channel directly. Help support the growth, help support some future projects that I have in works that could come to fruition a lot sooner with your guys' support. Then definitely go check out the Patreon page that is linked in the description if you want to support something that you like and want to show some support for this channel. But otherwise, again, let me know what your thoughts are on this deck in the comments down below. If you want to see the current version format, uh, current format version rather of this deck then let me know in the comments down below I'd be happy to show it to you because the combos are semi-universal between them So if it's something that you wanted to play at some events or locals in the format Then you could definitely do so because it is a very potent like option It's something that I honestly wish that I was playing a little bit sooner uh, than I ended up like choosing to play I mean I probably should have just played this at Pittsburgh when I went because I was very familiar with it But I just ended up like just being peer pressured by pure zoo and stuff like that because I was a I was too afraid of like the mirror and stuff like that. But anyway, like I said, let me know what your thoughts are. And if you want to see the current format deck list for it in the comments down below, and I would be happy to oblige. But other than that, again, thanks for watching. Again, for like the fourth or fifth time, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your time as usual, guys. And take care. I will see you in the next video.